In the last episode, I got my Berserker Ring back, putting me just one item, Ferocious Gloves Away, from max strength bonus. And I also went back to the Theater of Blood and scored not one, but two new uniques, finishing the Justicia set and getting a Sanguinesti staff. As always, the new net worth estimation is sitting at a comfortable 668 mil with the new additions we got last episode. Today, we'll be making a return back to Corp. A couple episodes back, I got all the way up to 221 KC. I have a Spirit Shield and I have a Holy Elixir. All I'm missing now is one of the three rare sigils to get one of the most prestigious items an Iron Man can have. The goal for this episode, 1000 Corp KC or a sigil, whichever comes first. I'm dedicating potentially over 200 hours to strictly Corp in this episode, and I'll be doing some other things as well, but for the most part, I really wanna chase a sigil. It's been a dream of mine for a really long time to wear this beastly set of gear with an Infernal Max cape and have one of the three rare spirit shields with it. You know the drill, but first, Greg, your popularity here is undeniable. What would you say makes you so popular? Everyone loves me for my grip six socks. I mean, man, these are so comfy. I don't know where they get this stuff really, but easily my most likable trait. I hooked up all my homies here with grip six socks and we all love them. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> I recently got sent an awesome package from Grip6 with no exaggeration, the most comfortable socks I've ever worn, which actually intrigued me to take this sponsor in the first place. So I looked further into what Grip6 had to offer and I loved their wallet. It's my favorite wallet I've ever had because the squeeze function to pull your cards out is really cool. And I really like the ring because I can like flip it out of my pocket. I mean, it's so freaking cool. I, I, it's an optional ring, but I really, really like it. And they sent me some super slick belts, which I'm a huge fan of. I love minimalistic designs and these guys are probably the kings of minimalistic design and all this stuff is American made. It looks and feels incredible. You can click the link in the description and use code SETTLED15 at checkout to get 15% off and go be like Greg. Everyone loves that guy and I think you'll really like the products. Code SETTLED15. All right, back to the video. Thank you Grip6 for sponsoring. All right, here comes the back to back after the sang. And nothing. All right, well, I guess I'll just keep writing for now. See how many more I can do today. Decent loot, actually. Eddie Bar, or Eddie Or, rather. Nothing. Oh my God, 1.3 mil loot. Holy. All right, this is gonna be my last one. What's our last loot? Tar. I think I'm gonna head over to Corp. I am very happy with this session. Was a very good visit to the Theater of Blood. Two new items. We are at five out of seven at 226 KC. That is so nice. So the problem is I don't actually have my arc light uh, because I threw it away when I went to do Theater of Blood. I figured I'd be doing it for a while and uh, yeah, I didn't have an Amulet of the Damned to stash my arc light. Welcome to my new home for the next uh, probably like three hours or something because I need three ancient shards and they're like one in 300 from these hill giants. So I will see you after I kill a thousand hill giants, I guess. And we're back with the third ancient shard. We are officially done. Took like two hours or so and I also got a giant key. So I'll go kill Obor. Yes. Everything feels right in the world again. Got Arclight back. It's so nice to have all this in here, man. Look at that. Just seeing the value there. 585 mil. It's obviously not everything I own, but it is cool seeing the value. It's time to get rid of the Torag's helm since I wasn't able to do that right after getting the Justy helm earlier. And I'll alk the barrel's gloves as well. But yeah, it's uh, super nice to free up a spot like this. Every time my bag gets a little clearer, I get a little happier. I need to do some space management before I go over to Corp. Time to imbue the warrior ring. Boom, baby. Plus eight slash bonus just like that. I'm actually so happy I got this thing before the berserker because... It will help me at Corp, and I'm very excited for that. My Corp grind is going to be so much better this time around. We've got the Infernal Cape, the Warrior Ring, the Berserker Ring, huge upgrades. Kills are definitely going to be a lot more consistent, a lot faster. We are, of course, looking for one of the three rare sigils. The odds of hitting the table are 1 in 585, and honestly, I want any of the three. Uh, but that doesn't mean I don't have a preference. I definitely want an Elijah over everything, and the Arcane would be the next best, but even a Spectral is freaking sick. But I honestly am happy with whatever sigil I get. I just want a really cool looking shield. Dragon and bling, Dragon and Stone. 
There is the first kill back, first kill with all the new gear, and soul runes is what we end up getting. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's like I never left. It's like I'm back home, you know? I need to get a lot of cash back. I spent so much money on the Inferno. I just, my cash stack needs help. Look at that thing. That, that thing's miserable, man. 700k. I think the perfect passive long-term goal for this series would be to purchase a crystal crown for 250 mil in prif. So the more money I can get, the better. Oh. I just, just hit a virtual attack level, let's go. It's just a rune light plugin for um virtual levels, but 29 mil attack XP, 107 attack, we take those. Ooh, things you love to see, that. 275 KC for some soul runes. Honestly, like the second best drop I can get pretty much. Well, okay, Onyx Bolts are the second best drop, but uh, the third best drop since I'm always in need of rune darts, so they're very, very good for raids. 200 rune darts every time I get this drop. About 25 or so hours deep in a corpse since we got back to it, and I want to try something a little different. Gonna buy back my Barrow's Gloves, and if I talk to Rupert the Dwarf, there we go, Dwarven Helmet. Uh, best crush bonus in the game, aside from the Inquisitor's Great Helm. Gonna help a lot with the Dragon Warhammer specs. And there's the Warrior Helm, best slash bonus in the game. So basically, Void only gives me a 10% accuracy boost, which means rounding down, it's as if this entire set is giving me nine slash bonus, which is horrible. And the Warrior Helm and Barrel's Gloves give me 17. So yeah, I don't get the set effect, but I'm getting double the slash accuracy that Void gives me just by wearing the helm and the gloves. And same story with the Bear's Gloves and Dwarven Helm, plus 22 crush bonus. Void gives me a lot less with that 10% effect. So with Corp, it really is just min-maxing your accuracy for specs since the specs are the majority of the kills. So this is what's gonna help me with that. I think it's absolutely worth the inventory slots. So Warrior Helm, Dwarven Helm, and uh, Bear's Gloves gonna help out my kills, hopefully by, um, well, hopefully I shave off a couple hours over the entire grind. So I know my sample size isn't very large. I think I've been using the new items for a couple hours now only, but I have noticed a difference personally, landing a couple more specs than I'm used to. So also 300 Corp KC for some Addy bars. You love to see it. Oh, another rune ore drop. It's my third one today. 60 rune ore in a single day so far. That is beautiful. 600 rune darts. Oh, back to back with the spirit shield. 175 alks coming up. It is such a satisfying drop to me. It actually just never gets old getting onyx bolts. Just got yet another spirit shield. So I wanted to check my collection log and I've got 10. 10 spirit shields in 330 KC, that's insane. They're one in 64. Nice. 350 kill count. There's kill 400 for some mahogany logs, getting closer and closer to the drop rate. Hours and hours of corp for me, and it's just a blink of an eye for you guys. Uh, hopefully I get a sigil earlier than a thousand, but uh, I'm completely fine with going all the way. But yeah, you guys just get to watch it all condensed. It's pretty freaking cool. And there is kill 425. For a mystic fire staff. Just at 30 million attack XP. Corp is disgustingly good for XP, by the way. In case you didn't know, you actually get plus 55% when killing Corp, so. You may be asking yourself, am I doing a farm run? Yes. Yes, I am. Got 43 two-dose restores from those Snapdragons. Always nice. Oh, I never get elite clues from here. They're pretty damn rare. Hopefully, I can finish this one. We'll see. Yes! I'm so happy I finished it, man. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we get. Master Clue, that's the only interesting thing from here. And I doubt I can complete a master because there's so many wind wilderness stat, wilderness stat, wilderness. All right, fail the bard, I am begging you, brother. Just don't give me. No, it's an infernal ax. Why? That's one of the few ones I can't. Cursed, actually cursed. Yeah. Oh, 
another elite! Ah, another one to the collection. Welcome, Spirit Shield. Damn, I can't believe it, man. Already at 500 KC, we get an air staff. Been grinding Corp every day for a couple weeks now, and we're halfway to the 1,000 KC goal. Getting really close to the Sigil drop rate as well. 85 kills to go. I think I'm going to use this halfway point as an opportunity to take a break, though. Some homies want to raid, and I happen to hit 500 KC. I just think it's perfect timing. Maybe I can grab something interesting from Chambers of Zarek, you know, maybe a Twisted Bow or something, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I just think it's a good time to take a break. I'm still really enjoying Corp though, so we'll gladly go back after some raids. I'll feel fresh. Last thing I got was the Kodai, and it's been a while since I've really seen anything from raids since then, so. Damn, look at this stack, 602 mil. This is gonna be my first time using my Sang in Chambers. I'm actually really excited for it, but I do need to stock up on Blood Runes. Thankfully, we've made a lot of money from Corp in the last couple weeks. I'm back up to a pretty decent cash stack, so I'm going to be spending it all on Blood Runes. 3.6k charges should be good enough for all the raids I want to do. I'll probably just leave once my staff runs out, which I don't know how many raids that is, but... Hmm, hard clue from a Black Dragon. Literally just came here to get Black Dehyde, and first kill, I get a hard clue out. And Black Dehyde made, top and bottom feel so powerful with this staff. It's just ripping this hand apart. I got white. Mm, nothing. Sad. White. Damn, nothing. Just finished raid 328. On to the next one. Wait, now it's going to be a 40 minute raid. <gasps> Purple! Okay. No way. Wait. Let's go. No Wait. way. All right. Uh, stream. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> no. I don't need you. <laughs> That is 3.30, nothing. It's not the safe spot. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, out! What's up? What's up? Dude, he died! Oh, killed him? <laughs> oh, no way, dude. How incredibly exciting. An arcane prayer scroll. That's literally what I wanted. That is all I've ever wanted. I actually don't even feel like the arcane prayer scroll is worth dropping to my main. It's just, it's not worth anything these days, so. And there she goes. Congrats to whoever picks that up. That's white. Damn. Okay, well, uh, that's gonna be my last raid for now. Back to Big Scary Skeleton Dog. Not fun, though. Always fun raiding with the homies. We saw two drops, an arcane and a dragon hunter. Unfortunately, no uniques for anybody, but... Hey, this doesn't look like corp. Are you r r r runecrafting? Yes. Look, I don't know what came over me, but I feel like runecrafting, so I'm gonna sit here for the entire day and just craft blood runes while watching some TV shows, so... Gotta restock my Sanguilini staff somehow. And 7.6k blood runes later, here we are. Had a very chill day, and now I have... A little over 2,500 Sang charges in my inventory. Very nice. I need to get my Amulet of the Damned back so that I can put my Arclight back into the stash unit. That way I don't risk it in death storage. And then I don't have to spend like three hours at Hill Giants getting it back. So uh, the journey for an Amulet of the Damned starts now. Oh, look at that. Got the uh, Swamp Bark Journal. That's really cool. I guess I should just learn this. Why not, right? Yeah, I can create Swamp Bark. Beautiful. What is this, dude? Where was this luck when I needed gold keys on Swampletics? I literally want silver keys. They have a such higher rate for, a, for an Amy of the Damned, so... I just got none. I just got three gold keys and three cash stacks out of six magic logs. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable luck that I would have loved on Swampletics. <laughs> Not here, but whatever. We'll go open these anyway. Ooh, Zealot Boots. Very cool. First time ever getting a piece of that set. Guess we put that in the house. Damn, look at those boots. And deposit in the Magic Wardrobe. I don't think I'll ever get another piece of that set, to be completely honest with you, but uh, still pretty cool. Keep it in there. There we go. Silver keys are coming in again. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Awesome, dude. I've been here for a few hours now. There it is. Emmy of the Damned. And... Boom! Arclight is now stored in the stash. I can take it out, withdraw it. We stay, we stay, we stay. Oh, dude, I hit a thousand XP drop to finish that. 232 KC and no purples. Big 
feels good to be back home, man. Onward to a thousand KC. Only a hundred and fifty hours to go. Oh, so nice. So, so nice. Cannonball Ziberis. There is 550 Corp KC for a Mystician Robe Top. 16. We're up to 16 Spirit Shields in 551 KC. All right. Here we go. It's drop rate time, baby. What do we get? That, that, that. I don't, I don't know. I feel. Is that a sigil? I feel like it's not. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! No way, bro! No fucking way! <laughs> Every emote <laughs> or tried to. <laughs> Honestly, I think I want to do another like 100 kills. I think I want to do another 100 kills to see if I can get a second shield because I did get a spectral. I'm still really fucking happy. I'm really happy about it, but I do want to do another 100 kills. I think I really wish I had the shield on me. I'd like, oh, I have to get it out of my looting bag. That's such a tease, man. That is such a tease. Look at him go to work on it, bro. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Long time account dream completed. Yeah, baby. Such a flex. Pretty hot looking account, man. Now I just gotta go get the other two shields. Well, it turns out I didn't have to get to a thousand KC, which is honestly a relief. I am super happy with my spectral. I've just wanted a rare shield for so long and I have it. It looks so freaking sick. I'm very happy with how the account is looking right now, but there's always, always room for more. I'll see you in the next one. What an episode it's been. Thank you for watching.